Hey everybody, how's it going? Kazadun here, and uh, this is just a quick stress test on my Skyrim I <laughs> or on my new Skyrim build, I should say. I think it looks better than it did before. I could be wrong about that. I'm not this game that I'm using right now isn't, uh, I think, quite as saturated as the Dova Carl one. Oh, good news by the way, Skyrim is back. Um, Dova Carl save has been saved. Uh, I can continue that series, and I'm basically just going to pick up where bag. I left off. What do you want me to carry? Um, last time, uh, I didn't upload the last episode because I literally just walked for five minutes and the game crashed. Walked again for five minutes and the game crashed. Walked again for five minutes and the game crashed. It was not fun to watch, and um, the only reason I ever would have uploaded that is if it really was going to be the last episode of the series. And I would have to start a new series in this game, um, but luckily I've saved it, so I just decided to not show that, because it sucks, <laughs> in my opinion. It's not fun to watch a game crash five times in a row. Um, I want to watch the story unfold. Um, so, I've saved the Carl file, and I've fast-traveled him to Morthal, and I spent about three solid days working on this. Skyrim, she is a terrible beast, uh, but beautiful if you get it working. Um, <laughs> I guess, with mods. Uh, reduced the number of mods by about 70, I, I would say. I've got about 55, whereas before I had about 115 to 120, somewhere in there. This definitely feels a lot more solid than it did. Um, expect... Almost no crashes, I would assume. It doesn't crash on an autosave when you when you reload an autosave like it did before. It'd crash every single time on an autosave. Uh, this time, I think I got the memory patch correct. I'm still here. So it's not going to crash from overloading. I mean, unless it, unless there's really way too much going on. But I've reduced the amount of mods, so there shouldn't be too much going on anymore. I had immersive creatures and the monster mod installed. I've reduced that down to the immersive creatures only, uh, because I rarely Let's ever saw going. any of the monsters anyway, and immersive creatures adds like, oh my god, at least a hundred new creatures, and I think that's good enough in my opinion for this game, and they all uh, show up as you level up through the game, so I've got elemental dragons still, that still works. The only mod that I, I feel is a must, I've reduced it down by the way, to the only the mods that I feel like I must have for this series. Um, and one of those mods that I thought we must have, and it's the only one that I really think might be a problem, is um, uh, familiar faces. Sorry, this has just got way too loud in my ears and it's hard to even think. There we go, much better. Um, if anything, I should just watch this without any sound on. There we go, much better. <laughs> I can talk. Um, oh, I want a little bit of sound. Come on, don't do that. It's a little too much in my... Okay, that's... Well, let's do that. Hey! Now I can think. Um, so, the mods... I'll be releasing a mod list soon on my Facebook, and then I'll just link my Facebook. If you want the mod list, I'll just link to that. It'll be on my Facebook. Um, I do know for a fact that... On the old build, during this test, the game absolutely would have crashed due to uh, too much going on, <clears throat> especially when we get to the skooma running part. But uh, it looks like it, this is certainly way more solid than it used to be. I know it could be. Oh, I was going to say the the only mod that I think might be a problem, as in terms of stability, is uh, familiar faces. But I feel like that's sort of necessary, in my opinion, because then, without familiar faces, you don't have Bjorlam, you don't have all these really cool characters that I intend to bring into this series. Uh, I'm not going to have this many followers at once in the game, as far as I know in the series, but, you know, that may change depending on what I think is necessary. And, as well, I'm going to have three followers, and it'll be, you know, I've got about, oh gosh, i got 12 characters right now that I'm using. Not playing through as I've, <laughs> I, I have this character and Carl, and those are the only ones that I care about. Um, and this character was only made just as a test, you know, just go from start to finish in the game and see how well things are working out, just so that the series will not be a big problem uh, anymore, you know. 
because um, I mean, the game crashing five times every episode, just as a super low FPS, oh god, renders the game unplayable, like, you know, five to ten frames a second is way too low to be able to play a game. Five crashes per episode renders a series unmakeable. You can't... <laughs> it's just not possible, in my opinion, to... Because each time it crashes, I have to fix the file in Bandyfix, I think it's called. And then I have to start recording again and then stitch them all together. It's just so much more of a hassle than it needs to be. So I spent three days, I uninstalled everything having to do with Skyrim. I uninstalled the Nexus Mod Manager, I uninstalled all the mods, redid everything. Um, I mean, I'm when, I, when I say I re uninstalled everything having to do with Skyrim, I didn't just uninstall Skyrim, I deleted all of the folders. The only thing I kept from Skyrim was the saves. Luckily, that seems to have worked. So right now, I'm pretty sure at this point, with the as quickly as I'm traveling and as quickly as these chunks are having to load, this would also have crashed the game before, but it handles it like a champ. It's, uh... I'm pleased with that, so I don't think we're going to have any more crashing problems in the Dova Crawl series. That being said, I think I noticed a bit more instability with that series than I did in this game, probably because um, I am continuing that series from before. I got a new perk mod. Um, what I was using before was Skyri and Perkus Maximus, and I kind of felt like that was also too taxing on the system. Uh, to be able to juggle all of that, all the different changes to the races and the standing stones and all of that. So I removed Skyrie, uh, and I removed Perkus Maximus, and I just got the Ordinator perk overhaul. It looks pretty cool. Um, so I think that's going to be cool, and uh, I'm not going to... I think I finally got this game where I want it. I don't want to upload, uh, add any more mods, except for like quest mods and... Um, some really cool stuff I've got planned for the series. Um, so, the series isn't going away, luckily. That's the good news. And as far as the bad news, there is no bad news. Um, and because I don't like bad news. So I've decided, no bad news, only good news today. Uh, and it's really, I mean, dude, you, you spend three days working on this. You better have something by the end of it. You better have moved at least to a point where it's not crashing every five minutes and it seems to have done so. I do think the game looks better than it did before, uh, especially when I tweak all the Imaginator settings to get it just right. Here I kind of did that. I think I just have a different settings uh, preset because this character is a very different kind of character than Carl and I want the game to feel different um, with each character I do. I want the game to feel different, and I use Imaginator to help with that. Um, this character is kind of the opposite of Carl. She's not at all motivated by money. She's a um, treasure hunter, uh, sort of like Indiana Jones, but a lot more R-rated because she's uh, addicted to skooma and alcohol, and she can't live without those. <laughs> Just because, why not, you know? Um, Carl would never touch this stuff, at least he thinks he wouldn't. But I might use that skooma in lieu of fast traveling. That was awesome. I really liked that. It was also kind of funny. Um, what else is there to talk about? The new schedule. Okay, so Fallout 4 is coming out, and I'm going to be doing that as soon as it comes out. Like, if I stayed up late to record Mad Max, certainly I'm going to stay up late to record my first episode of Fallout. And look, this is as many followers as I've had. Last time I only had Bjorlam. This is one, two, three, four, I think six followers there, and the game still didn't crash. I mean, I got, you know, it dropped down to like 30 FPS at one point. If you need a meal that's not room, bad, I've in my opinion. Here. That's that's Take a look that's totally this. fine for a series. I don't mind an game. FPS drop. What Drink I don't want is thirsty. crashing. So, uh, I think as long, and you know, this whole time it hasn't crashed. We'll see, I may try to record for like an hour and see how well that does, but I, you know, don't know how big these files are on my computer, so I sort of feel like I gotta be careful with where, with how much I, I record. Um, I don't wanna destroy my computer with, with ginormous Bandicam files. So, the new schedule, by the way, Fallout is coming out soon. I'm going to just, at least for now, and let me know if you want me to bring these two series back, but right now, I'm going to ditch 
um, Mad Max, and I'm going well to done. ditch I don't know where Bioshock, uh, because I think uh, Mad Max has been pretty fun, but it's kind of slow going for me, because there's so much side stuff you need to do in order to progress in the story, it feels like. Oh, God. Uh, and in a game like Skyrim, I don't mind doing side quests, because that's obviously what the game is about. But in Mad Max, if you're not doing this, the main storyline, there's no story. Um, you're just sort of doing things, and they don't uh, change the game, really. They do, but... Uh, it just seems like a lot more work and less play, whereas Skyrim, my all the story stuff in Skyrim, it's all play. Um, so, anyway, I think that my channel so far works best with uh, series, uh, like RPGs mostly, that I can edit. Um, and I feel like Bioshock, Bioshock is the prime example of a game that leaves no room for editing. There's always something going on, and that's cool. But, you know, I, I kind of just <laughs> watch the video and then say, okay, it's done. Um, no editing necessary. And I feel like editing is what is going to make this channel super fantastic. Um, because anyone can record themselves playing a game and, and call that a series. But what I think is going to make this channel stand out is the editing. And I'm, I intend to certainly get a lot better editing um, as time goes on. I mean, used to be, and I don't, I don't do this too much anymore, but I, I might get back to this. I would come home from work and I'd spend four to five hours editing an episode of Soul Reaver or Skyrim or something. And then I would go to bed late <laughs> because I just didn't have the time. But I mean, like, sp spending four hours for a 20 minute long episode, that's... And I think that's gonna get faster. I think it is faster now that I know some tricks and things that you can do. I've, I've, you know, before I was figuring it out, I didn't quite know exactly what style I wanted to do. I think I pretty much got it. I want to make these videos more cinematic as well. When you sit down to watch one of these videos, I want it to feel like you're sitting down to watch a movie or a TV show. I don't think there's any Let's Players right now doing anything like that. And I've already got some ideas right now that, that can contribute to this, but um, I think... Uh, I think I'll get better at that, but now I have a direction uh, to go in with this channel, which is good. It's the first time I ever felt like, not I today, I mean, I, I did a little while ago, That's but true. once you learn uh, your niche, that you makes say, things so much easier. And for me, it seems to be cinematic uh, let's plays, I guess, is, is what I would end up calling it. Even though I have yet to actually make anything <laughs> cinematic, uh, unless you count the the hunt for the hood ornament episode in Mad Max, I would say that was pretty cinematic. Somebody said that it was enjoyable to watch, so means that those two days I spent working on it are worth it. And the game is about, or not the game, the the video is about to end. I think I said everything I wanted to say. Oh, the new schedule, by the way. I'm gonna do Fallout, Skyrim, and the other one. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! All right, bye. Hang on. <laughs> wait, no wait. Uh, I know I said bye. Let me just try that one more time. Here's the schedule, okay? And I'm not, I'm not quite at the point where I'm doing uh, specific days for each series, but here's generally what the channel is going to look like. I'm going to have Fallout going. That'll be a big story, cinematic series that I do. I'll have Skyrim going. Uh, that'll be a big cinematic series also that I do. I'll have two big sort of feature film type series going on this channel. And then I've got your back. a third you series just for other games like Soul Reaver, uh, Bioshock. Other uh, kinds of sort of lighter content, I guess. Um, just because I feel like I could do Fallout and, and Elder Scrolls videos for the rest of <laughs> eternity. Especially since they keep making new ones. Um, so I'm just gonna make those two the long-lasting, big, uh, overarching games that I'm gonna have on my channel. The thing that I, I would hope that I end up becoming known for, it depends how many tips and tricks I end up learning with this. Um, and I think there was one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, no! I'll soon be uploading as well a video of, uh, a choice of two characters. 
um, that I'm going to have. I'll sort of make them in Fallout New Vegas because I don't have Fallout 4 yet. Uh, and then I want you guys to vote, <laughs> if, if anybody cares to, on which character they would like to see in Fallout 4. Um, so look forward to that. I'll have the uh, mod list for this game in uh, on Facebook pretty soon, and I'll add that to the description of my future Dover Carl videos. Uh, I think the series is just about to take off because it's now crash free and I feel like I know what I'm doing with it. So that's good. And I think that is everything finally. Okay. I'm still Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Lead on.